Welcome to the Cardinal Report. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's our first episode of 2014, and we have a good one in store for you. In a few minutes, some movers and shakers from the NCC women's basketball team stop by to give us a first-hand account of how the season's going so far. Conference play has just started, so it's a good chance to see how the team is shaping up for the stretch run. But before that, let's hit rewind and check in on the last few weeks of Cardinal Athletics. Let's start with wrestling. The Cardinals finished 4-12 last season, dropping all three of their conference dual meets. But this season, an infusion of youth has brought a burst of excitement. Currently sitting at 4-5, the Cards have already matched last season's win total. Nick Santos is the only senior on Coach Kevin Bratlin's team, currently with a record of 12-8 at the 125-pound weight class. His veteran leadership has helped bring along a trio of very impressive underclassmen. Freshman Andrew Rodewald has a record of 14-9 and nine at 141 pounds and was named the CCIW Wrestler of the Week ending January 8th. Fellow freshman Leighton Binion is currently ranked 8th in the nation at the 133-pound weight class by the National Wrestling Coaches Association and was named Most Outstanding Wrestler at the Manchester University Spartan Mat Classic. There's also sophomore Josh Tardy. He's 20-6 at 157 pounds. The future looks bright. Men's basketball is coming off its most impressive season in history. 28 wins, a conference title, and a trip to the Division III National Final Four. Whereas last season's Cardinals coasted to so many great wins, victories are a little bit tougher to come by this season. At 8-6, and six, the team has struggled to score at times. North Central has only scored a combined 109 points in its last two games, both losses against Milliken and Carthage respectively. One of the team's most impressive moments came on New Year's Eve. North Central hosted the number one team in the nation, University of Wisconsin Stevens Point. Even though the Cardinals lost the game by only two points, Todd Raritan's squad put the entire nation back on notice. You can't sleep on the Cardinals. The women's basketball team wrapped up non-conference play just a few days before the start of the new year in a home tilt against Aurora University. For the sixth time this season, the Cards scored at least 100 points in the 108-80 victory. North Central is 6-0 this season when it hits the century mark. Only up by two points at halftime, North Central forced 39 Aurora turnovers in the game and route to an all-important 31-9 run in the latter portions of the second half. Freshman Miranda Grazafi scored a career-high 17 points with help from five triples. Five days later, North Central opened its CCIW schedule at 7-4. We've seen how good the team is when the offense hits its shots, but when it doesn't, you get games like the conference opener against North Park. North Central forced 40 Viking turnovers, but shot only 27% from the field in a 92-71 home loss versus the Vikings. Since then, NCC has split a pair of road games, including an exciting 87-85 victory in Decatur against Milliken and a 119-78 loss at Carthage, the 16th ranked team in the entire nation. North Central sits at 8-6 overall and 1-2 and in CCIW play. The team leads the nation in scoring offense, dropping nearly 97 points per game. But the team also led the nation in that very same department last season en route to a first-round conference tournament exit. In a few moments, we're joined by head coach Michelle Roof and later a few players from the team to tell us what adjustments are being made to separate this squad from last season's version. More Cardinal Report coming your way next. Yes, ready, ready. Go get it. Oh, come on, Randy. Animal shelter, here I come. And no, I'm not crazy or emotionally damaged. That's a stereotype. I just belong to a total loser. I'm a good dog. So if you want a pet, adopt. And if you see Randy, tell him he dropped his wallet. Welcome back to the Cardinal Report. As promised, we're <coughs> focusing on women's basketball today. Fourth year head coach Michelle Roof joins us first. Michelle, thanks uh, so much for stopping by. Thank you. It's, it's been a while since I've been here. Well, it's good to have you back. Um, it, let's talk about the season a little bit. It's, um, it's been up and down, obviously. I mean, we've same kind of thing that we saw this year was seeing we saw last year. A lot of offense, giving up a couple of points here and there. But uh, <laughs> how would you gauge uh, the way this team uh, has played for you this season? Uh, well, I thought we got off to, to a pretty decent start, um, had the big game against Ripon, uh, 
you know, this year we've got a lot more freshmen playing for us. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe seven to be exact. Seven freshmen, a lot of newcomers. So it's been the, lear the learning curve has been a little bit different this year than it was last year, um, just because we've got some a little bit more inexperience uh, out on the basketball court. But they're, they're getting it. They're picking it up. Um, I think we're steadily improving as the season goes on. But, but as you know, when you, when you rely you know, pretty heavily on underclassmen, mm -hmm. you, know, you have some big games, and then you, know, you have some up and ups and downs. And I think that's something that we've experienced so far this year. Well, talking about that first game against Ripon, uh, a great performance from Deja Moore, one of your freshmen who tied the game at the end of regulation and gave you guys the decisive bucket in overtime. So really, you are getting contributions from all, all these freshman players. Yeah, yeah, we are. You know, a few of them have stepped up. Um, you know, Sophia had had a really big rebounding night that night, and uh, has struggled with a few injuries. Um, but other than that, yeah, quite a few of our freshmen have have stepped up in the scoring columns uh, in the rebounding, and you know, we we look forward to, to Deja and some of the others to, to continue to do that. They're going to need to continue to step up. Uh, for us to be successful the rest of the way. And you're referring to Sophia Svensson, the uh, Swedish yes, player. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, some of the things that you wanted to get done this season. You mentioned before the season that with, with your offensive game plan in place last year, that system, you kind of went through the learning curve last year, you wanted to focus more so on the details this year. What are those details, and uh, how do you think that the team has followed through on that this year? Um, well, coming into this year, you know, expectations were a lot higher. Uh, last year, we were coming off a, a pretty tough conference season, you know, a pretty tough season and overall, um, you know, so it was just go out and play and, and have fun and see what happens. And this year, you know, coming off the success that we saw last year, you know, we just expect a lot more out of ourselves. Um, we've had an opportunity to do a little bit more individual work this year uh, to break down um, the offense, the defense, and work a little bit more on the fundamentals of what we're trying to accomplish. And we're seeing those things uh, continue to, to get better. You know, we just... You know, as a team, we just need to, to be able to maintain a, a certain level of play and be a little more consistent than we have so far. And the men's basketball team obviously going through the rigors of CCIW play as well. This week, the team facing stiff competition against the top 25 ranked Vikings of Augustana College. North Central's big guys Jack Brichette and Landon Gamble looking to stop the bleeding at home. Cards have lost four of the last five. Hosting Augustana College, Vikings 12-2, ranked 13th in the nation by D3Hoops.com. Coming off a tough loss at Wheaton in overtime. Let's pick things up early on. It's 2-0 North Central. Gamble and Vince Kamik team up to force the steal. Kamik starts the break. Brandon Williams finishes it. Williams with six points and four dimes. But Augie doesn't let North Central get out of the gates too fast. 8-0 run capped off by this danger guy to steal. Nifty reverse layup from the Vikings' leading scorer, Hunter Hill. Vikings go streaking again soon thereafter. 6-0 run capped by this Mark Roth pull-up J. 14-7 Augie. Head coach Todd Reardon takes a timeout and must be saying something inspiring because NCC goes on a little run of its own. Beautiful feed from Kevin Ahn to Gamble. Only 14-13 Augie midway through the first. Now five minutes left. Cards down four. They feed the big man Brichette and he comes through. Splits the double team for the and one. Free throw good. The junior with five points and three boards. Augie doesn't go into the break quietly. This Roth pump fake and step in jumper cues an 8-2 run into intermission, 31-25. North Central still has a little fight left with 15 minutes. Gamble triple team makes the smart play to an open Sutton who drains the open three, 44-34 Vikings. Coming into the game, Augie with the fewest three-point attempts among the eight CCIW teams, but the team goes into a three frenzy to close this out. Jurgaitis, Roth, and Hill, all in quick succession from beyond the arc. Pushes the lead to 17, 55 to 38. More than enough to push the Vikings past the Cardinals for the first time in eight tries. North Central's 50 points, a new season low. So it's been kind of an interesting season for you. I mean, scheduling-wise, you are a former head coach for Aurora University. You were a former assistant at St. Mary's from Minnesota. Yeah. <laughs> so you played both these teams this season, the tail end of 2013, back-to-back -back with, with different results. Um, you've had experience as a coach. I mean, this is your fourth year at North Central. Mm -hmm. What do you do to keep things fresh as a, as a coach? Uh, well, playing the style that we play, you know, <laughs> keeps, it, keeps it really fresh for me. It's, it's an enjoyable style. It's fun to coach. Uh, it's fun to watch, I think, for the players' perspective. It's really fun to play. And, you know, the type of offense, what we're doing right now, has really re-energized me. Um, 
as it has, I believe, our players, you know, which is why we were able to make that surge last year and, you know, get a really nice recruiting class coming into this year. We just want to keep it fun. You know, we want to keep, keep the energy up and make sure that our players are really enjoying the experience playing here at North Central. And, you know, that makes it really easy and enjoyable to coach them. I think if I were a player on the team, I would love to, you know, to just throw up all the three pointers and score. I mean, as much as you guys do, leading the nation in points last year, doing the very same thing this year as well. Obviously, the defense is something that, that you want to work on because, you know, you've given up a lot of points as you mm -hmm. scored a lot of points. The, mm -hmm. the scoring margin just isn't there quite yet. I mean, what are you going to do as a coach to try? I know it's tough. Obviously, the players are the ones doing the playing out there, but what sure. can you try to do as a coach to, to cut down that uh, scoring margin? Well, offensively, we've been been very pleased, you know, up until this point. Um, you know, right right before the break, right after the break, I think we were at 101 points a game, um, you know, which is much improved from where we were last year. Defensively, uh, you know, coaches are are figuring things out. They're they're you know trying new styles, new strategies against us, and you know we need to continue to look at our defense, look at what we're doing strategically, and make little changes here and there which which we're trying trying to do um, you know most of the time we want to play as up tempo as possible really force the action and force them to take as many shots as as we do make them you know play at our pace teams are just finishing pretty well against us this year so we need to, to readjust things and take a look at it and see what we can do to kind of counterbalance that so we've got some ideas we've got some things in place that hopefully we'll be able to pick up on pretty quickly and you don't want to give away the secret time, <laughs> yeah, we'll save that for the for the game time. Um, a couple new rules in uh, Division Three women's basketball this season a little bit more emphasis on hand check fouls uh, there's yes. the 10 second backcourt rule how has that uh, affected the way the team has played this year for you? Well, the uh, the hand check rule, you know, they really wanted to open up the game and allow a lot more freedom of movement. And I think that we've taken advantage of that. Uh, if you look at system teams on the men's and the women's side, um, everybody is scoring a lot more points right now. Uh, so from that standpoint, it's it's been, been pretty favorable. Uh, the 10 second rule, we thought that might be something that would impact us. However, because we try to push the tempo so much, we really want to force the action to the basket as opposed to keeping the ball in the backcourt. Um, but you meant to mention some uh, you know, adjustments and strategic changes. That's one of the ways that we're looking to, at times, instead of forcing the action, maybe trying to keep the action in the backcourt a little bit, playing a little more conservative and working to get a 10-second call. But that's just been about the past week or two. Don't go anywhere. We still have more with Coach Roof after the break. Hi, my name's CJ. A few years ago, my father became seriously ill. I did what I could do before he passed, but it took its toll. I lost my job, my house. I'm getting back on my feet, but I don't know when there'll be food on the table. How'd I do, CJ? We could be twins. Well, cousins, maybe. <laughs> Play a role in ending hunger. Visit feedingamerica.org slash hunger and find your local food bank. Thanks for sticking with us here on the Cardinal Report. We're still with head coach Michelle Roof, and we've talked a little bit about the infusion of the youth players uh, on the team this season. You have one freshman in Marion Beck, a number of juniors as well. Um, that's good for you as a coach. I'm assuming you have some idea of what you're getting game in, game out, because you've you know been coaching these players for a couple of years, some of your veteran leaders. Yeah, you know, Marion, our only senior, uh, is doing a nice job. She's having the best year that she has. She's really been hindered over her career with some injuries, but to get her healthy finally, and, uh, you know, she's doing a good job leading our team, playing the back of the press, and is shooting the ball pretty well this year, too. And our junior class has just had so much experience. You know, I'm really trying to challenge them to, to really bring the competitiveness and, and the drive and the fight that, you know, our seniors last year really brought to the team. And that's something that I think we're lacking a little bit. Um, you know, right now it, it seems like we get a little behind in ball games, and we just need to figure out how to put the foot on the gas, you know, and really, really bust out and explode and, uh, you know, play a little harder. And so that, that's what we're working with. We've got a lot of experience in that junior class, you know, scoring, rebounding, you name it, they do it um, with Bobby and Laren leading the way. So, so we've got a lot of good weapons, a lot of younger players. You know, the future looks bright, but right now it's time to, you know, stay focused and, and 
you know finish up strong in this conference season. Absolutely. I mean, it, it is a tough it is a tough conference schedule. I mean, with, during the break we were talking about you know you have you know Wesleyan <laughs> you obviously play Carthage already. Wheaton's there every single year. There's no easy out in this conference. You guys have to be ready game in game out because there are no stops in the schedule where you can take a night off. You really have to be on your game each and every day. We do. I mean, 14 conference games and we know it's going to be 14 battles. Mm -hmm. um, but that's the exciting part. You know, it's so fun to watch and be a part of CCIW basketball because every night it's a rival, every night it's a good team, mm -hmm. and you know if you ask your players, you know, every night it's a team that they just want to crush, you know, they want to beat them pretty bad. So, so that's exciting, it's fun, um, you know, it makes it a little easier to keep the intensity up. Uh, but again, you know, the other teams are coming in with that same amount of energy and that same amount of drive to, to beat us. As a coach, uh, Coach Roof has to coach through the CCIW schedule a little bit differently than non-conference. And for the players themselves, they have to do the very same thing. So we take a look in this week's What's the Word? Once you start conference play, it's a lot more intense. And just you can tell that rivalry between each team in the conference, because every team in the conference has a pretty big rivalry. So every conference team is really intense and really serious because we all know like it's crunch time and we're getting ready for playoffs. And I think we all take it more seriously as well. Uh, just the style of play is just everybody's at each other's throats. So we kind of just go at it and see how we can do. But we really focus on our defense because that's like the key to the system and our offense basically. So um, our games before conference play are a lot like to work on our defense basically. So practice a lot defense, defense, defense. Especially having new girls coming in and whatnot, we have to get that um, kind of perfect. Um, so we're still trying to perfect it, especially this year. So we're just trying to figure that out. Um, our offense is pretty good right now. So just kind of get that defense down and then I think we'll be ready to go. There's kind of been some renovations at Murner. So a couple more people here and there at the games this season, a little bit more fan interaction. It's, it's nice to see. So uh, what's been the experience for you this season playing in this kind of renovated Murner with, uh, with some increased fan attendance? Well, Murner is great. And, uh, you know, fan support, especially once we get into CCIW play, has always been, you know, very good. But now that the men's team is, is doing what they're doing and, you know, the women's team we've been able to improve and, uh, you know, make the tournament last year. So, you know, we've got a little bit more fan support, you know, the dance team, the cheer team, the band. It just makes for such a good environment, um, you know, that it's, it's easy to walk in the gym and be pumped up and ready to play. Uh, I, one thing I want to talk to you about, I mean, you, you run your system, you want to run the system. I kind of liken this back to like a men's basketball for like, you know, Syracuse, the fact that they run that 2-3 zone. Jim Beheim always runs that 2-3 zone and they never really break from that deviation. As a coach, do you ever get any feedback from, from fans saying, why don't you do this, why don't you do that? And I say, I'm going to run this system. Do you get any feedback like that? Um, I think as a coach, you're always getting <laughs> feedback from everybody, right? Um, there's critics everywhere. But, uh, you know, we, were for, we feel real confident and uh, pretty excited about the personnel that we have. Um, the depth that we have in this program, um, that what we're doing right now is, is what's best right now. And, uh, you know, we're going to continue to do it. We're going to continue to push the ball. Um, you know, the goal of this is really to get our players playing with, with a ton of confidence, with a ton of freedom. And, you know, we need to continue to, to really pump them up because I, I don't know if we're playing with quite as much confidence as we were at the beginning of the season mm -hmm. as we were last year. And, and that makes the difference. So we want them to feel good about themselves, you know, and, and go out there and play with no fear. Just attack teams and, you know, have fun doing it. Six and eight in the conference last year, and you guys, the uh, first conference tournament appearance since 2009. So there are obvious strides being made. What are the goals that you set forth before this season that you're trying to accomplish by season's end? Uh, well, of course, we, we want to make the playoffs again. You know, we want to finish top four in the CCIW. In order to do that, you know, we need to step up and we need to beat some teams um, that we feel like we're really capable of beating. And then, you know, we want to give it everything we have and take a shot at, you know, the higher teams in the conference. It's not a big secret that, you know, Carthage, Wheaton, and obviously Wesleyan are always, you know, typically top 25 in the country, some of the best best teams in Division Three, And we want to give them everything they can handle and, and you know, try to knock, knock a couple of those teams off as well. And definitely the, the, the points you're getting this season uh, really – have been off, off the charts. You're 12 and over the last two seasons with this system when you score at least 100 points. And mm -hmm. it's an obvious trend there. You want to score 100 points. You want to put as many shots up as possible. When the shots aren't falling, so you're coming off a game in which you shot 27%, <coughs> how difficult does that make it when the shots aren't falling? And uh, you know, obviously, 
with the system you run, you want to get these shots to fall. Yeah, well, one of the other huge aspects of the system is offensive rebounding. Mm -hmm. And that's one area that our team has really struggled this year compared to last season, is we're just not getting the amount of offensive rebounds that we need to be successful whether or not we shoot the ball well. Um, we have a, an offensive rebounding goal of 40% of our misses we need to get back. And up until this point, we've only been able to accomplish that for one game. So that's something that, that's a criteria that's very important, that's very crucial to system success that we really have to get better at. And it's definitely the, the turnovers. You, you guys forced a ton of turnovers, but uh, you have been doing very well in that department. Uh, a lot of turnovers last year, a lot of turnovers this year. A lot of fun moments this year. We appreciate you stopping by, uh, and uh, good luck the rest of the way out. Thank you very much. That's head coach Michelle Roof. Don't go anywhere. A couple of junior lady cards leading the way this season are next on the Cardinal Report. Today is Saturday. 60 minutes of physical activity a day and eating well can help get your child healthy. Get ideas. Get involved. Get going at letsmove.gov. That's letsmove.gov. Cardinal Report is back. Thanks for sticking with us. We're still talking North Central women's basketball and joined now by junior Laren Shoemaker and Bobby Johns. Guys, uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Laren, we'll start with you. Your second team, all CCIW selection last season and uh, scored around 13 points a game last year. You've moved it up a couple points this year, 15. You're basically the one big, you know, post presence in this offense that's essentially very focused on three-point shooting. So, Game plan wise, when you're heading into a game, knowing that you're kind of different from the rest of the players in the type of game you're playing, uh, how, how do you go into it? Um, I just try and, you know, just when it's one on one, I try and get the ball as much as possible. I know that they're going to pass it to me. Um, offensive rebounds is another one that I know that I can get points off of. So just trying to get the rebounds and scoring easy. <laughs> and that's a, that's a big part part of the offense when you're, you're throwing up a lot of shots. I mean, a lot of them obviously are, are not going to go in. A good portion of them do. But yeah. when you're putting up, you know, volume shooting like that, a lot of them, uh, them are not going to go in. So you're there to rebound, help clean things up a little bit. In that situation, are you looking more to score immediately or maybe kick it out to a shooter uh, to maybe give them another shot? Um, it kind of just depends on, like, if people are around me. But um, I'm probably just going to score. I don't know. <laughs> that's your, your score. Yeah. Your score. Sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, that's okay. It's okay to score points. Okay. Uh, Bobby, let's kick it over to you a little bit. I mean, uh, you're, you're one of the shooters, one of the players that uh, is putting up all these, these shots. Um, mm -hmm. What's it like playing in an offense like this? You've got a, a year plus in the can now as far as running with this offense. What was it like before and what is it like now? Um. It's very different. Um, before, we would try and set up plays, and we would take our time to find a good shot. But now, if, like, if I push it up and we have the first shot, we're going to take it. And so it's very quick, and it's definitely different than what we were used to before. So it was, it was nice trying to like adjust to it, and I feel like we've done a good job with it. And last year, you were a sophomore, but really you were learning an offense for the very first time, so there's mm -hmm. kind of a new learning curve there. Yeah. This year you have it under your belt a little bit. You're a little bit more comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. And as we talked with Coach Roof about the fact that you have seven freshmen this year that are getting a lot of playing time, so you're going to have to be able to teach these players on the fly mm -hmm. a little bit of how, how to run things. Uh, what's been your mind frame this season in teaching as well as uh, playing with uh, these new players? Um, just trying to talk to them as much as possible. And if they're confused, just try and ask them why they're confused and help them out on where to go and what to do and stuff like that. What's the, the biggest difficulty, do you think, uh, playing in, with this type of style, you think, Laren? Um, the most difficult thing is probably... Uh, well, I know you guys, you run full court. <laughs> you run a lot of full court, so there's... But we uh, get you, tired, I guess. You, well, that's a good <laughs> point. So you get tired, you, you, you know, switch players in and out, five in, five out, uh, always keeping fresh. Does that, does that make it difficult to, to maybe get a little rhythm? Because, you, you know, you get in for, you know, 45 seconds, 90 seconds at a time, you're in, you're out. What does that do to your rhythm as a player? Um, I don't think it really... It doesn't really hurt me specifically. Mm -hmm. I mean... I just shoot layups, so <laughs> it's not that difficult. But it's good. We like it. when you're tired, you get a rest, and then you're like fresh, so you can give it your all. 
within another 45 seconds. Absolutely. So CCIW schedule is uh, in effect now. You guys just got off a game against Carthage. It's a very good team. And it really is a lot of good teams in this conference. Um, you guys went six and eight last year. Obviously, you want to improve on that this season, uh, sitting at one and two right now. How are you shaping up conference play? How do you gauge the way the team is playing uh, against these conference foes so far? Um, I mean, I think we're doing all right with it. And I think some of the new players, they didn't really know what to expect. And so I think now that they have a few games under their belt, they know what to expect. Mm -hmm. And I think that um, we'll all come together and we'll keep improving. And as we've mentioned, these two juniors saw court time as freshmen. And this season, we're seeing more new talent at Gregory Arena playing important minutes. Let's meet a few of them in this week's Cardinal Corner. transition for a basketball player is hard enough going from high school to college. But for the women's basketball freshman student athletes attending North Central, the transition is made a little different because of the run and gun Grinnell style offense. It's brand new and that's what made me come here. I think it's very exciting and I think it gives freshmen the opportunity to, you know, really play and get to show what they're to to show what they can do and uh, I think it's a fair you know, chance for everyone to really go out there, like work hard for less than a minute and then come out and stuff out. And it makes you like, you know, really value the time you have on the court. Sophia Svensson is just months removed from her high school days in Sweden. The other freshmen haven't had to travel quite as far to get to Naperville, but it's still a transition nonetheless. Really just trying to get used to the system basketball. So I played like regular basketball, I guess you could say, my whole life. So just trying to contribute to this team. If we're late in a shift, and I call through, what do you think it means? Ram, ram. No player on the roster averages more than 20 minutes per game, which means that this team features a bench that goes about 16 deep. I appreciate like all the playing time I'm getting as a freshman in college, but uh, it's just the, the quick 40 set, we get 40 seconds to a minute kind of shifts on the court. So it's just really, uh, it's quick and it's, it's different. Uh, so it teaches you also a lot about reading the game. Um, so yeah, it has developed many of the skills I haven't been used to using before. That discipline has been shared by each of the team's freshman players. Deja Moore and Uzuri Williams are second and third on the team in scoring this season, respectively, each dropping around eight and a half points per game. Each excited about their time at North Central and each excited to showcase their skills. So, Larry, we, we've met a couple of the freshmen here. What's it like playing with these uh, new ones? I mean, really, they're making an impact very quickly here in the season. Uh, yeah, um, it's good to have new people. Um, they're, it, with the conference, like, they're not, I mean, they're not used to it yet, sure. but um, they're doing good rebounding. Sophia's a good rebounder. Deja is a good passer. Everyone else comes in with energy, and that's kind of what we need, the, young, the younger ones, to bring the energy and just the hustle and try and get the steals and stuff. I think it's kind of cool that all these freshmen kind of play different roles. Deja's kind of a slasher. Sophia, like you said, is a defensive stopper and rebounder. Definitely uh, playing some different roles. That's all the time we have for today. We'll be back same time next week with another look at North Central Athletics on the Cardinal Report.